So today I'm going to eat dinner with my dad and we're gonna have Panda Express and I'm gonna show you guys how I make the Panda Express um, work with my you know supplement so that it doesn't create such a high blood sugar spike and hopefully it can do the same for my dad so stay tuned for that and I'll show you his and my blood reading before and after we eat. So I got the pandas and basically I got Kung Pao chicken, Beijing beef, super greens, and chow fun. I'm gonna mix the chow, um, the super greens and the Kung Pao chicken together and like add a little more vegetables so that we can have more vegetables with the dinner. I also got this um, black pepper steak. This one I got it for free since I filled out an online survey. So all together with the two orders of the cheese rangoons came out to somewhere around like a little over $15. And so I'm just gonna like split it all up and um, feed like three to four people with this meal. So I'm gonna test my blood again because um, like after I finish cooking everything, it should be like 30 minutes. Um, and like I'm gonna take the pill, so oh, I fucking hate this part. Okay, oh, it wasn't enough. Ah, oh shit, that one kind of hurt. Okay, so blood. Uh, it's going. Um, I did have. A blueberry smoothie so it might be kind of on the high side so 124 right now and I'm gonna take the fiber supplement and my berberine pill um, and then cook like the stir-fry and everything and then after two hours I'm gonna test again to see how it spiked my blood sugar it could be high because there are things um, that I got that I normally don't eat from pandas. So it could be a little higher than I usually do, but that's what we're gonna find out. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, 조금 더. Okay, um, 아니, 조금 더 나와야 돼. 됐어. 아빠. 봐. 안 나왔어. 여기. 응. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stop. What she have? Hmm. I go, Appa, you can now so Momogo song. Pay. Hmm? Pay. I'm gonna try to give him my fiber supplement and the small thing is his diabetes pill, so fiber um vitamin gatungoya mogo murhago Oh just masha masha Oh, oh, come on, just take it. Appa, more or then, Tashi, Uri, check up here, okay? Okay. And then.
Goons, Beijing Bee, A Little Child Fun, The Stir Fry I Just Made, and the, what is it called, Angus Beef Steak. And then my dad's plate. It's just this one. Um, actually, I might take out a little of this rice, but he just got the steak, the stir fry, and one rangoon. And I'm probably gonna take out like this much rice because his blood sugar is kind of high. And like ideally, I'd want to try to test his blood sugar before he eats, and then make him wait a little bit to eat if it's still high because I just gave him my fiber supplement and his um, diabetes pill to see if it at least went down a little bit. So, meat first. I go walk up yeah. Ward Avenue. So the combo is meat, meat and vegetable first, basically. Oh, and then the and then and then you can eat a little bit of carb because it takes rotation. Or you like just want to get you just want to get meat and vegetable in first. Oh, I see. Because then that's the stuff that's gonna make it digest slower. Yeah. And then you wait one hour and then you try to walk 15 minutes. So. Yeah. I mean, it took most of the weight I lost right now. This year was maybe 25 pounds. This year. Last year, I lost. Um, yeah. 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 But mostly because I have my diabetes. My diabetes. Diabetes obsess. I'll probably still be like, you know eating the same stuff and I don't know how he's doing it on seven like two like hurts me I'm just like ah okay okay good come on better 134 can China pause yeah so, 아빠 밥 먹을래? 더. 밥 먹어, and then maybe 한 시간 있다가 우리 걸어갈 거야, okay? Okay. Okay, 밥 먹어. Okay. 아빠, 밥 먹어, okay? 이거 고기하고 야채 먼저 먹고 밥 먹어, okay? 그렇게 먹어야 돼. 고기 먼저, 야채, 밥, okay? And then Han Shiga ni taga uri kora gar kaya. So I'm gonna go on a walk since I have to test my blood in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna walk up a hill for that meantime, go back to my mom's house, and retest to see where my blood sugar is at. So I'm just gonna go up to the very top and then walk back down to my mom's house. And by then, it should be time to test. And hopefully, it's a good number. I just got back, doing my last blood test for the day. Um, Cause, you know, your girly had some rice and rice is a starch. So it might spike, but I, you know, I feel like the walks have been helpful, um, helps me bring it down. So, I just, okay, did it go? Oh. 
barely. Try one more time. All right, a little better. <laughs> so, got my little blood sample here, and I just let, I just checked my camera roll, and it showed the last um. Like around the time I finished was 5.56. And right now, should be like a little over 8. So what is it? 1.53. You know, I kind of figured I had that sweet Beijing beef. And um, what else was in there? I had the cream cheese rangoons. And um, rice and chow fun. So this is, I kind of expected it would be a little higher just because normally I don't get chow fun and normally I just um like if I were to get a plate of pandas I'd get the super green some fried rice and um the kung pao chicken and the Beijing beef so those are like my normal go-to but I got a little bit of different things today um I'm not too worried about this because I feel like it's gonna go down even more since I just finished my walk. Um, normally I would wait like about 30 minutes to see where my blood sugar is at um, after my walk. But since I ate with family today, I, um, I definitely went walking a little later than I would normally go. I usually wait an hour till I f like finish eating. But um, yeah, I had to drop off my sister at home, so I ended up going like a little bit close to like the one and one hour forty five minute mark. So um, definitely, definitely, I know this is gonna go down. I can retest in about thirty minutes to see where it goes down. But one fifty three is like given the amount of carbs that I ate and the sweet um, Beijing beef that I ate, it's not bad. So I like I wouldn't worry too much about this number. I would worry more if it was like over 180. Then I'm like, oh shit, what did I do? <laughs> and then I would probably have to go on another walk just to make sure that it goes down. So um, in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna check my dad's blood reading because he did eat a little later than us since earlier his blood um, read at 200 and he admit to me that he just finished eating Korean pear which is like a sweet fruit so um, he ate a little later than us and well hopefully his number is good because I get um, more worried when his number is high and I have to like leave the house so hopefully his number is good but yep we'll come back to that Oh, 그래, 그래. Oh, okay. Oh, that's uh... It's okay. One sixty. So normally that last test that I did would just be the last one for the day, but I'm just kind of curious to see if I am correct that um, I just needed to give myself a little more time to adjust like my blood sugar level after walking. Um, right now it's a little over 30 minutes since I last tested. Ow. And so I'm gonna test again to see if there is any change from the last one. And then um, I changed the time too since it's like, it's been bugging me. Okay, not bad, 144. So it is going down um, and eventually it just 
regulates but the key is not to like over eat these type of foods it's like a once in a while type of thing and then you give your body time to adjust and regulate itself because you know like when we're born that's what our body was made to do right we don't really like check for this kind of stuff when we're younger but as we get older the more times you expose your body to that kind of stress that kind of inflammation from foods that you eat and how frequently you eat them um, it does make a change over time so um, you know in my case the changes that I make if daily I'm doing like pretty good and the stuff that I eat and my blood sugar stays pretty steady one meal like this is not gonna like break the bank it's not going to set me over um, usually by the next day or if like not the next day then the next next day it will like regulate itself but if I eat like this every day and I continue to just like not give a shit about the stuff that I put into my body then yeah like it's gonna show because it's gonna progress to like that kind of um, result right it's all like a learning process for me um, this is just things that I do that I felt like is manageable for me I know like even when I was explaining to my mom that this is my routine because she doesn't do it, she's like, oh my god, that sounds like so much work. And yeah, like if you don't do it at all, it is a lot of work. It's something that like you build yourself to consistently like, you know, like get used to that kind of exercise or that kind of like, you know, like just moving your body around. But once you do it and you keep consistently doing it it just gets easier and you don't have to think and stress out all the time like what you need to do because it becomes so routine that you just do it instead of thinking what you need to do so this is it for today um i mean i don't mind test i i don't mind testing my blood and showing you guys i feel like um now more than ever people are being more aware about like glucose spiking like i honestly would really want to try that um continuous glucose monitor but i like looked up prices for them and they're so expensive and like these are like covered by my insurance so like my doctor prescribed me the test strips well, my insurance covered it but i bought the, the glucose meter um, with my own money at first because I didn't know like insurance could cover stuff like this so I just bought it like with my own money but like with the test um, strips like you know like I can get refills as long as my doctor feels like I, I need it like he'll prescribe it to me um, I think my dad's one like I buy it with his like health it's like a little like a card like it doesn't really look like a debit card but it like works kind of like um like a gift card almost and it's you're able to pick out um healthy items or like things that like contribute to your health so he's able to buy the test strips with his like little health insurance card um i know like for people who normally like can't get that and you have to buy it with your own money the test strips at my CVS Longs, um, I think like a 30 quantity one is like $10 and then there's um, there's a 30 quantity and then like a, I think a 60 quantity one, that one's like, like $18.99 so it's not really cheap because you do, like as you can tell, I like I can use like maybe four or five of these in a day you know so they're not exactly cheap if you have to buy them with your own money but I mean if I can find a good continuous glucose monitor that isn't like 200 300 dollars like maybe if I research and like 
happen to find something, then that would be ideal for me and my dad. Because then, like, if you saw, like, the lancets, even though we prick our fingers, sometimes the blood just doesn't come out. And then you end up, like, having to re-prick your finger or, like, sometimes there's not enough blood. And then when you, you know, swipe it on the test strip, like, an error message comes out and then you just end up wasting a strip. So it's like give or take like more expensive but you have like the ability to continuously check what your blood sugar is reading or less expensive but like you just have to like prick your finger every time and then like choose when to test because like honestly you don't want to waste a strip on something that you read it too soon it, it's like kind of like a waste of a strip so these are like the kind of things people have to do, you know, to like check their blood sugars. But this is the end of this video for today. Um, I made some food for my dad to last a couple of days. Um, there was a little bit of stir fry left over from the pandas. And then I just made him like some scrambled eggs with like stir fried vegetable and then I gave him some of my keto bread, which I make at home because keto bread's pretty expensive at Whole Foods. Just learning like all this, these stuff that, you know, like the alternative foods that you choose, yeah, they're more expensive, you know, it's not like cheap shit. <laughs> so I just, you know, I like tried my best to make my own keto kind of bread, which I enjoy eating. It's not like... It's not like regular bread at all, because regular bread, it's fluffier. Um, you know, if you push it, it like bounces back. Like the bread that I make, it's it's a definitely like more dense because it's made with almond flour. And um, it's crumblier because it like it, it doesn't really like stay together like how normal bread does because, you know, bread is like it's wheat gluten like it has like properties that make like the the bread stretchier which almond flour does not so um but I mean it's not like completely horrible to eat so like I just keep making that and eat that for my bread instead of regular bread so maybe I can show you guys that next time because you know I I I like eating it but it's I'm just like letting you know it's not like like mind-blowingly good you know it's just like something that you can have on the side for whenever you feel like you want like some kind of bread so that could be the next video like always i do appreciate everybody viewing in and leaving the kind comments and you know just like wishing the best for my dad i do appreciate that and until the next time i'll see you guys later bye